13 facts about German Shepherds. Imagine, for a second, the ultimate dog. What personality traits would it have? What size would it be? What would its character be like? I wouldn't be surprised if you ended up with a mental picture of something quite similar to a German Shepherd. If you're wondering how we came to that conclusion, don't worry, we're going to explain it all for you with these astonishing facts all about this beautiful dog breed. Number 13. German Shepherds are a relatively new breed of dog. With their wolfish appearance, it's all too easy to make the mistake of thinking German Shepherds are an ancient breed of dog. It may even come as a surprise to some, but the German Shepherd breed has only been around since the late 19th century. The first German Shepherd to officially be registered was a dog called Horen von Grafrath. The dog had been spotted at a dog show by a man called Max von Stefanitz, who instantly realized the potential of this particular pooch as a working dog. Number 12. German Shepherds were originally bred for a very specific reason. Max von Stefanitz hadn't come across Horen von Grafrath by chance. He had been searching high and low for what he thought to be the perfect dog so that he could establish a standardized German dog breed. He wished for a dog that would be highly intelligent yet also be incredibly useful. When Max bought Horen the German Shepherd, he established the very first German Shepherd Dog Club, with the club's motto being, Utility and Intelligence. Number 11. The role of the German Shepherd was quickly changed. As sheepdogs became less required by the general public, Max quickly realized the need to gain a new target audience. Through this decision, German Shepherds really started to shine in the eyes of the public and began upholding the motto of, utility and intelligence. Max sold the idea of the dogs as the ultimate service dog to the German government, army, and almost anyone that would listen to him. German Shepherds quickly proved themselves too and were adapted to all sorts of different tasks. Number 10. There were many uses for German Shepherds in the First World War. The German army was one of the first organizations to truly take advantage of the true utility of German Shepherds as service dogs. These exceptional dogs were used in various roles, ranging from guard dogs, messenger dogs, attack dogs, and even as first aid dogs. Number 9. A German Shepherd was honored as a war hero. German Shepherds had their many uses in World War I and II, but not all of them were as great as Felix of Luano. During the First World War, this awesome German Shepherd brought back 54 injured soldiers from the front lines, saving their lives. He was honored in Westminster for his service to his country in 1917. Number 8. These dogs needed a change of name after World War I. Unsurprisingly, people weren't all that keen on anything which had the word, German, in it for quite some time after World War I and II. After World War I, the UK Kennel Club decided to rename the dogs as, Alsatian Wolf Dogs, naming them after Alsace, a region of France that borders Germany. On the other hand, the American Kennel Club took a much simpler approach. They merely referred to the dogs as, shepherd dogs, which seemed to be enough to remove any bias placed upon the dogs. It wasn't until 1977 that the UK officially reverted the name to its original form, although they're still referred to as Alsatians in some parts of the world. 